last comparison you have between pole vault and other sports. In pole vault, you need two balls. Hajime! Again, I'm gonna try and keep this one short. Yeah! Wednesday, I pole vaulted. It was another tough day. Legs do not want to move. I was trying to force everything and make it happen instead of like proper positions and letting it happen. And it was a rough day. It was really hard. It bummed me out because I was getting on some big poles, but now I'm not as excited to be on those poles anymore. So those little rewards I was giving myself aren't so rewarding anymore. Because now I expect it all the time. Is not correct. Got to the point where I'm sure some of you have where you got so mad you just kept jumping and trying to force it. And then you're mad. And then you're like, I know the ball's not gonna work, but I'm gonna keep running anyways. I got through the day, I sat down, and Steve White was there, and my dad, and he, we looked at each other, and I was like, Yeah, it's early. You're still in a heavy training cycle. You're gonna be fine. Yeah, I guess this is week five of my six week training cycle. Because I decided to do a six week training cycle instead of a three week with a rest week because I wanted to train through it. He's like, then stop being stupid. No, these days are gonna happen. And that's the gamble you took. So you'd have a little bit more pop when the big meets come rolling around. It was tough, it was a rough day, but you know, I learned a lot. Keep doing what I'm doing because it's working. No, it doesn't always feel like it because everybody wants results faster. Patience, patience is key. Any advice you have for kids whose hand keeps slipping on the pole? Stick to the pole like spandex sticks to a fat man's thighs. Another reason why I think that day went bad is because I've been just stressed out. It's been really, really, really tough on me trying to balance high school training with my own training with an hour drive to the high school there an hour and then back an hour, so two hours just straight driving, I'm trying to find time for me just to chill out and get away from pole vault. When I'm training, it's like pole vault, pole vault, pole vault, pole vault, pole vault, pole vault, pole vault. And then my off time now is coaching. Pole vault, pole vault, pole vault, pole vault, pole vault, pole vault, pole vault. I come home and I have emails and YouTube notifications about pole vault, pole vault, pole vault, pole vault, pole vault, pole vault, pole vault. It makes me just be like, hey, screw you pole vault, give me a break, I need a break from you. The good news is, is I, I was aware of this happening. Instead of, like in the past, I wasn't always aware of it, so I just let it keep beating me up. On Wednesday, I just said, Screw it. Took a day off, and I watched movies, and I chilled out and read a book. It took some time for me. I did, I did two days straight of that, and I feel so much better, and I feel super creative again. Yeah! And I'm optimistic to run and train and pole vault, and I just, I feel so good. I just needed a day away. Well, two days, I guess. Yeah! I found what helped me out. Took a while, but I got it now. Why do you pull them? Cause chicks dig guys with big poles. <laughs> so another thing I did is like when I took those two days off, I was able to reflect on myself a little bit more, and I realized I was trying to force training in because I had a time restraint where the high school closes at this time. I need to be done by this time, and I need to make sure the high school kids are done so I can get my training in, and I need to make sure there's a high school for me to train at, and I can't train outside because there's snow everywhere. What am I going to do? When I'm stressed, I'm not very creative because I just try and plow through everything, and instead I took a step back and was like, I don't need to do a speed endurance day on a 60 meter track where I'm just running back and forth. That's boring and not fun. I don't look forward to it. But I do like running those treadmills, which is a speed endurance day. So I went to Hastings and started doing the treadmill workouts again. And you know what? I had a lot of fun. Instead of running repeat 60s, because look what happened in Minnesota. So much for practicing outside. Back to this. It's better than running five sixties in a row. Yeah, I got up to like, I didn't go any faster than 21 miles an hour at the end, but I got up to 21 miles an hour and forward to it. And I was, I went home happy and excited to run the next day, you know? So it was great. 21 miles per hour at three degree incline. Don't remember the last time I did that. Feeling way more optimistic today. As much as I hate the treadmill, like when I'm on it and there's a mirror, and I can see where my sprint mechanics are going poorly. 
And maybe, you know, I need to do this once a week just to keep everything in check. Because when I'm running up hills outside, I don't have a mirror to look at. And I don't have a coach yelling at me. But when I see it happening to me, I think I'm a good enough coach where I can be like, Hey, you need to fix that. Feeling pretty good after the treadmill workout. I've been pretty down and out about training for the last couple weeks. So maybe this is the, uh, the turn I need. Feel pretty good. Is it hard to vault in the rain? It's always hard to get a good grip on a wet pole. Yeah! Friday, I did the same thing. It was my off day. I did like a 20 minute bike just to kind of warm up. And then I did like an hour and a half stretch. And I didn't feel like I was running out of time. And that helped so much because I could just focus on what needed to be stretched out. My glutes and my hamstrings and my calves and my shoulders. Everything's tight. <laughs> I felt good again. Like I'm in super good mood. Do you ever share your pole? No. I feel weird when another guy touches my pole. On Saturday, I decided to do an acceleration day with plyos with weights. I was lucky enough that Hastings High School pole vault crew, which is a crew my dad's coach, they asked if they could do the workout with me on Friday, and so my dad called and I said, well, I don't, I don't care. I'd actually like to work out with some people. We did 1020s and 1040s. Uh, for me, half I was pulling a sled. It was a good workout. It was awesome. This crew, they're super motivated and hardworking. I had a lot of fun again. Yeah, I, I just I can't say enough about how fun training's been going these last few days, and I gotta keep my stress at bay. I feel like I'm doing another thesis. I don't want to do another thesis. I don't want to feel like that. I want to be creative and have some fun, and, and just enjoy what I'm doing. So that's what I'm doing. How big is your pole? 16 feet. I wasn't talking about pole vaulting. Neither was I. <laughs> Then today I was going to do another treadmill workout, but the high school's closed and I don't have access to a treadmill. So I'm going to stretch really good today, do the treadmill tomorrow, take the next day off, and then vault on Wednesday, and then Thursday... I leave for Mount Sac, California. No, I leave for the meet in Mount Sac in California. That makes way more sense. And I love jumping at Mount Sac. It's a big, fun meet. It's so awesome. If you guys ever get a chance to just go to Mount Sac, hopefully you get a chance to compete in it. But if you just get to go watch sometime, awesome. I highly recommend it. And then the following week is the Drake Relays in Des Moines, Iowa, which is another one of my favorite meets to go to, let alone I would love just to watch that meet. If you guys are in the area and you want to come watch me jump, say hi. And then after that, I don't have any meets lined up so far. I'm trying to figure out what to do next. Hopefully the snow melts and I can do some local meets around here. Why do you like pole vaulting? Because pole vaulting's up. Hoot! Hi, I'm eating an apple. I should have swallowed the apple before I started trying to talk. Last thing, if you guys have any pole vault jokes and funny sayings, please put it in the comments. I'm excited to read them. I know there are some probably dirtier ones I could have come up with, but I'm trying to keep this as PG-13 as I can. So, I'm sorry if they offended anyone. Secondly, two, I'm going to be heading through an airport to California next week. I have an idea. I'm going to play a little truth or dare. That doesn't really have any truth. Maybe, yeah, truth or dare. I'm going to choose dare this week. I want you guys to try and to dare me to do some stuff in the airport and or at the meet via whatever you guys can come up with, celebrations. We can make it somewhat appropriate. And the one that gets the most likes, I'll do it and put it in next week's vlog. How's that sound? Make me do something stupid. We can make it somewhat appropriate. Or, if I'm gonna do something smart, like make another tutorial video. Let's see what happens. Maybe I go hug a stranger. Maybe I steal someone's shoes. Maybe I do a cartwheel off the pole vault pit. Maybe I ride the bull after I make a bar. Uh, the comment that gets the most likes, I will do that one. So yes, please subscribe, share these with your friends, uh, like these if you think they're funny, and or entertaining and informative, and if you feel generous, if your heart skips a beat and you look forward to seeing these vlogs, please donate. I'm a poor pole vaulter trying to make this work. Donate link is down in the description, and if you would like me to coach some of your uh, vaults, or if you want me to write you a training plan or something like that, 
There is also a link down in the description that you can click on and it will give you the appropriate instructions to help you do that. See ya! I haven't written my training for the next cycle and it starts tomorrow. A side note, I found the most ugly, awesome workout shirt ever.